Hello and welcome to the video. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer. If you're new here, my name is Nick and on this channel I talk about Depeche Mode, Erasure and the Pet Shop Boys and this video is going to be all about Erasure. Now I am building up a collection of Erasure vinyl and CDs and for this video I want to talk about collecting CD singles and specifically sets, box sets, um, uh, triple packs, slip cases, um, because Erasure have some really nice collectible stuff that they've, they've issued over the years and I've thoroughly enjoyed trying to find them all. So that's the plan. We're going to do it in chronological order. I'm going to start with um, I Say, I Say, I Say and go right the way through to The Neon, which is their latest album. So yeah, if we go back to I Say I Say, they only issued a slipcase for one of the singles from that album, which was Run to the Sun. And this is the slipcase. So they issued um, CD1, like so. And then when they, when they issued CD2, the Limited, it came with this card slipcase, which housed the remix version of Run to the Sun and this placeholder. Now I've been buying collections and job lots and this is fairly easy to come by. I picked up another couple uh, which aren't in as good condition and they have both of the singles in. Um, I've got lots of duplicates actually. I'll, I'll get onto that at the end because I'm going to sell those off. Um, but yeah, I found it really hard to find one that still had the original placeholder in that came with CD2. Uh, it says here, this limited edition box is supplied with CD2 of Run to the Sun. CD1 is available separately. So that would have come originally in there with the limited edition. And then what you would do would be take out the placeholder, throw it away, hence they're hard to find, and replace it with that. So for the other singles on um, I Say I Say, there were multiple versions available, um, but the only time they issued a slipcase that I'm aware of was for Run to the Sun. So it's really nice to now have that with its original placeholder and in lovely condition. So that's the first one, very pleased with that. I've now completed my CD single collection from I Say I Say, which is really cool. So moving forward now, we're going to jump forward to their album of cover versions, uh, which they called Other People's Songs, uh, which I think now, was that 2003? I think it was. Let's see if there's a date on one of these singles. Yeah, 2003. There were two singles lifted from that album. Uh, there was their version of Salisbury Hill, which I really like. I really like the original, the original Peter Gabriel track. Uh, and I thought Erasure's version of that was fantastic. The other single they lifted was Come Up and See Me Make Me Smile, which I'm not as much of a fan of. Um, I don't dislike the song, but it's, I don't think it's an, a patch on Salisbury Hill. Um, there were only the two singles lifted from it, and they issued them in triple packs. So there's three, three different versions available. A CD1, a CD2, and a DVD. And this became a kind of trend for Erasure and Depeche Mode for a while. So, the slipcases are cardboard slipcases, and they are getting harder and harder to find. So this is the... Uh, Come Up and See Me Make Me Smile, limited edition collector's wallet, they call it here. Now this one I picked up uh, and it only had the DVD and one of the CDs in. And it had been stored like such and had been squashed because it had been stored like that. So annoyingly this one there you can see it's quite badly creased which is frustrating and then I had to track down the one that I was missing so now we have them all so as I was saying you have a CD 1 and 2 
Oh, if I can get it the right way around. Uh, which continues this hand motif. And the DVD continues it in blue. So they make a really nice set when they're all together. And the hand graphic carries on onto the slipcase. So that is that one. So with Salisbury Hill, it was pretty much the same story. There, it was a limited edition slipcase, which this time is in really nice condition. Lovely and crisp and clean. And there were again two CD versions available. CD1, CD2. Not particularly inspiring artwork, I, I thought, for these. Um, and then the DVD version just continues uh, the theme. So that's those. And then shortly after the um, Other People's Songs album came out, they released another best of. The Erasures had, have had quite a few best ofs. The Hits album, I think, was still in 2003. Let me get the singles out of here and check a date on this. Well, that's tiny writing. 2003. Um, and to promote the album, they, they reissued Ola Moore. And as with the other ones I just showed you, they released a cardboard slipcase to house the three different versions. And there you can see them. And again, it was two CDs and one DVD. And the artwork, um, if you look at the hits artwork on here, with the swan, it looks like a swan. Yeah, I'd call that a swan. They carried that on for the reissue of Ola Moore. So we have a blue CD single. We have the more pink. Oh, no, sorry, that's the DVD. So we have a yellow CD as well. And then the DVD issue in pink. These are becoming harder to find, and the slipcase particularly. Um, so I'm very pleased to have managed to find that and in the condition that they're in. So during trying to track these down and get complete sets in the condition that I wanted, I have managed to create duplicates because I tend to buy thing I tend to buy collections when I see them and then keep what I need and sell the rest on. So if you are looking for run to the sun stuff, I have a lot that I'm going to sell on there. Um, I will link my uh, eBay below. This stuff will be available to buy on there. If it's not on there when you click through, it will be soon. Uh, and likewise, I've managed to find some duplicates of the Ola Moore stuff. No slipcases, unfortunately. Uh, come up and see me, make me smile and Salisbury Hill. But I only have one example of the slipcases, so it's just the actual CDs. Um, but those will be sold on. So then we move on to um, a cracking album, which was Nightbird. And they carried on with the um, three versions of the singles, two audio and one DVD. Uh, so let me show you what I've managed to find. So we have, I can't remember the order that these singles came out in, but we'll start with this one. Don't Say You Love Me. I love these tracks. I love the whole album. I thought it was a, a real return to form. Um, and these are becoming harder and harder to find. One in particular, which I will talk about at the end. So Don't Say You Love Me. Uh, love this artwork. The whole art for the uh, album and singles, I think, is fantastic. Uh, it's so evocative. Just, yeah, amazing. So we have the slipcase in fantastic condition, as you can see. And exactly the same as the previous one ones. Um, we have audio CDs one and two, as you can see, and the DVD uh, in green there. 
The DVD ones are slightly harder to find. Um, Don't Say You Love Me isn't particularly uncommon. And neither is Breathe. Um, so we have Breathe, which again, they issued in a triple pack. And no surprises, we have two CDs and a DVD. So the CDs, we have an orange tinted one and a pink. And the DVD version is in blue. So that's a lovely set to have, complete with slipcase. And then the harder of the, the three singles that were lifted from Nightbird to get hold of, particularly uh, with the slipcase and the DVD version, is Here I Go Impossible Again, um, and All This Time Still Falling Out of Love. It was issued, I think it was double A. Um, and yeah, love the tracks, and these were hard to find. In fact, I bought the slipcase separately. It came as part of a bundle. It's never been used. It's never been folded, you know, constructed. So I thought we'd do that on the video. So here is the slipcase. As it would have been, uh, mint untouched. And as you can see, the two tracks, here I go impossible again, plus all this time still falling out of love. So double A. And then same story. So we have CD1, CD2. So we have kind of a brown tint one. Really nice artwork on the green one there. And the DVD, which is hard to find. And I'm quite excited to marry those up with the slipcase. So if we construct this carefully, get that flap into place. Trying not to damage it in any way. There we go. And then for the first time, I will have this set housed in the slipcase. There we go. That makes me very happy. So that is um, Nightbird now finally, and it's not been easy, finally complete with slipcases. Just quickly before we move on from uh, Nightbird, the artist is Robert Ryan who does this whole kind of cut out stencil work. He's a famous artist and he worked with Erasure just for that one album and singles. Um, but I think it's so effective and it works so well with the mood of the album. Uh, so yeah, Robert Ryan, check him out. He's an amazing guy. So then we jump forward to The Violet Flame. And these are getting expensive, like silly expensive, with the slipcase. From Violet Flame, there were three singles issued, um, which individually are, are, are shooting up in value, um, getting harder and harder to find for a reasonable price. So let me show you what we have. We have Sacred. This one is actually still sealed. I haven't actually opened that. Likewise, this copy of Reason is still sealed. And the third single lifted was Elevation. Uh, this one isn't sealed, so you can see they are cardboard gatefold sleeves. But there was a limited edition slipcase um, produced, which is thinner than the ones we've just been looking at because these card cases are, are super thin as you can see, and this came with this black art card. Now, I, I picked mine up secondhand. It came with the, um, I think it came with Elevation, the one that's open. 
and it had been used. And frustratingly, on the back of the art card is some writing. So it says, two down, Sean. I don't know what the reference is or, or what that means. I think that was gifted to somebody and that was maybe an in-joke. I don't know. Um, but yeah, prices on these. I've seen people trying to sell the set um, for £75 on eBay. I don't know if that's achievable, but the slipcase particularly is very hard to find. You can get the individual CDs with not too much difficulty, but even those are shooting up in value. So I'm pleased to have the set. It is frustrating that that card has the writing on, but I can live with that. So that is my Violet Flame singles collection. And I do have uh, a spare sacred sealed, which will be sold off as well. So that will be available on my eBay. Link for that should be below. So then moving forward, uh, we get to World Be Gone and they issued three CD singles again and a limited edition box. And I didn't buy the singles at the time. Uh, I wasn't collecting again at that point. Uh, picked up the album and really enjoyed it, but didn't pick up the CDs at the time. So I have bought this recently and had to pay up for this. Um, I actually picked up two CD singles separately. These two. So we have World Be Gone and Love You To The Sky. As you can see, these are still sealed. I haven't opened these up. And then I hunted and hunted for somebody who was selling the box, uh, the limited box set. And finally, I found somebody who had the box and the third single, which is just a little love that I was missing. And there it is. So I got these together, but I had to pay a fair bit for it. I had to pay £30 for that. And these I picked up, I did quite well on these. I think one was about £4. I think I paid 5 for the other. Um, so in total, I've paid nearly 40 for this set. But again, I've seen people asking crazy money for these now. Uh, they, were, they were fairly limited. I'm not sure what sort of numbers they were limited to. But it was, it was a low run. So I, I think... As far as collectibles for the com for the future go, yeah, that's going to be right up there, along with uh, this that's I said is already starting to get hard to find. Um, so I'm really pleased to have completed that. Um, it's a, a kind of clamshell box, as you can see, uh, all one piece, cardboard, quite quite nicely constructed. It's quite sturdy. There we go. So that's uh, World Be Gone. And then we're up to date with the Neon. And I pre-ordered the box set from Mute Bank. Now I'm collecting again. Where I can, I will, I will buy the stuff as it comes out. So I think this was 20... I can't remember. 22, 23 pounds. And as far as I know, you could only buy it as the complete set. And when you look inside, this one is a two-part box cardboard. Uh, it's got this very shimmery, shiny uh, foil effect on it. And then inside you have the three CDs. And these are not individually barcoded. So I don't think there's any way of sourcing these individually. I think you have to buy the whole set or nothing. Um, so we have Nerves of Steel which would be my favourite track off the album, I think. We have Fallen Angel. Again, not individually barcoded. And Hey Now, I think I got a feeling. Again, no individual barcode on that. And you also get a couple of art cards, uh, 
which reflect uh, or mirror the, uh, the art on the singles. And a little booklet with Andy and Vince inside, which is a nice touch. And all of the credits and information about what you get on the, uh, the singles. So I'm really pleased with that. I don't know if this is still available, but um, have a look on Mute Bank, which is Mute's official um, website where you can buy Erasure stuff, Depeche Mode stuff, and all of the other bands that are on Mute. Um, last time I looked, which was a couple of weeks weeks ago, there was still stock available, but I think they've limited this to 4,000, uh, which sounds like a lot, but a band of Erasure's... Um, stature i guess and fan base they will not last long so i'm glad i picked one up when i did and there we are so that is where i'm up to with cd single sets i've been picking up lots of other stuff that's for another video and again duplicates i've managed to pick up along the way um there's loads. So there's a breathe there, for example. Another one, another one, another one. <laughs> Fairly common, that one. Don't say you love me. There's a set of. So these that I've picked up whilst collecting, whilst buying up uh, bundles, they'll all be sold on. There's a don't say you love me duplicate. And I have one duplicated slipcase. Um, I picked up a bundle and they have one of these complete. So I'm going to sell this one on. So if you are looking for that, I will get that listed at some point next week. Check out the link below to my eBay. Go and have a browse. Um, I don't know if the link will go straight to the category. I'll probably just link to the shop. Then just search Erasure or Depeche Mode or whatever it is you're after. There should be some Depeche Mode stuff on there as well. So take a look at that. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll link another one of my Erasure collecting videos up here. So maybe if you haven't seen that one, you might enjoy that. Please check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon.